What's going on, you guys? TBR here, back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video, and happy Monday to all of you out there. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a topic that I've briefly brought up a few times here on the channel over the course of the past couple of months, but I figured that it was worth making a dedicated video to, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why I am a reformed whale in the King of Fighters All-Star, and why in 2022, I am not going to be considering myself a whale any longer, and have decided that I am going to be joining the Dolphin team. What does this switch mean for me? Well, we're going to talk about it in today's video, but before we get into all of that and more, make sure if you guys haven't already done so that you smash that like button and subscribe, and without further ado, you guys know what time it is. Cue the intro. Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel. Like I had said in the introduction to this video, in today's video we are going to be talking about a subject that I've been meaning to talk about for a little bit now, or at least give you guys a full-fledged video on, just because I do feel like it is an important topic when it comes to any gacha game. But in today's video I wanted to go ahead and talk about why I have changed my stance in 2022 versus the way I treated this game over the course of the past couple of years playing it, and as it pertains specifically to spending. Ending. So for those of you who have been with the channel for a while, you would know that during the limited banner rush that we saw in 2021, I definitely had bought quite a few packages over the course of the past year. Now, 99% of the time, whenever I would buy packages that weren't going to be, say for instance, the normal subscription packages, which this one here, which is $30 a month, and then this one here, which costs you $10 a month, these two had been kind of the ones that I'd always lived on, and these are the ones that I had always recommended to you guys. Now, there were a couple of different reasons for that, obviously. These are the ones that I think hold the most value as far as your month-to-month -month packages. And when it comes to subscription packages in this game in general, those are really the ones that I still have my eyes set on over the course of the next year. Now, as you guys can see, I've still picked this one up every month without fail. This is a $10 package per month, and you do get 100 rubies per day for that month as well as 400 rubies right at the onset. So in general, with this package, I think that this one is still a ton of value. Both of these are going to have a lot of value to them. As you can see, this one's also going to give you 100 rubies per day. However, it's also going to give you 1,200 right at the onset of buying it. And then you're also going to get the Awakened Tier XP Capsule Mystery Boxes once per day. But then the end of the month, you're also going to get a Fest Fighter Memory Selector. And so in general, I had been picking this one up pretty much for the entire time it's been available. Now, as you can see, I have not picked this one up this month, and I've said this for the past several weeks, but I haven't picked this back up and renewed it for a couple of months. And when it comes to the Boss Syndrome stuff, we can use this last banner as a bit of an example. You guys saw me purchase this one on my summon video. If you guys didn't watch that, the link will be in the description. But I did pick one of these up. However, as I mentioned, this was primarily using stuff that I had donated to me. So really with this one, I ended up spending, I think, like 20 or 30 bucks total. So in general, when it comes to the rest of these packages, I haven't picked up any of this stuff. None of this stuff is anything that appeals to me, really. And like I said, I have been trying to cut back quite a bit. Now, the reason why I've cut back really since the Guilty Gear collaboration, if you guys remember back, if you look back at my summon videos, you can kind of track it. But basically, if you go back to before Guilty Gear even, I think around the time of SS Volume 4, uh, I believe I bought one package for that, but that was about it, and really that is in stark contrast to what I had been doing prior. Now, the reason for this, and I'm going to go ahead and do some of my New Year's roulette tickets in the background here while we talk to you guys. So, so the reason for this, primarily, you guys, is going to be due to the fact that there's a couple of reasons. One is, of course, I do have the new setup, as you guys can see. So that is something that did cost money. So I have been trying to, for just being completely straight with you guys, I've been trying to basically just pay that off. So that's one thing. But honestly, you guys, looking back on it, and this is something that I had had a conversation over the weekend with a fellow veteran friend of mine. He had been a kind of a, I don't want to say a reformed whale because I don't want to put words in his mouth on how he spends. But he's also kind of cut back in a big way as well. And there's a lot of reasons as to why I would do that, why veterans have been doing that, so on and so forth. 
And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that there's just so many characters anymore in this game that can clear the same content. There's so many characters in the game now that can clear almost all the content that we've gotten kind of to a point where it isn't really necessary. And for me at least, and I can only speak for myself, but really for me, the big, big point here is going to be the fact that I'm going to start picking and choosing my battles. So really what that means for me is going forward, I'm going to be doing a lot of what I always say to you guys, which is save for your favorites, pull for your favorites, and don't be afraid to skip a banner here or there if you need to. Now, I will admit over the course of the past year, I have been quite nervous to do that. Now, the reason for that obviously is I have a YouTube channel and primarily what I cover here on the channel is going to be things such as new character releases or new updates. Obviously, that is the lifeblood of any coverage for any game out there. However, at this point, it's gotten kind of to this place where I don't really deem it necessary to do so. Now, maybe a year ago when I first had started this channel, because again, this channel hasn't been a thing for very long. You know, maybe a year ago, if you would have asked me that, I would have thought you were crazy because for me at the time, that was the only thing that I was really covering was the King of Fighters All-Star. And that was kind of all I really had to go on when it came to daily content, which is really the toughest part of covering one game exclusively, especially over the course of an entire year, is finding a new topic to cover each and every single day. Now, of course, I was able to do so, but without having pulled for a lot of those characters, I didn't know if that was ever going to be something that I would have been capable of. So now that we're in 2022 and we're kind of getting into what I've kind of called the second season here on the channel, I've kind of gotten to the point where I would almost prefer to have those days here and there where I could go ahead and cover something completely different and kind of branch out just a little bit. And that's kind of what I have been thinking about a lot over the course of the past, I would say, longer than, honestly, even longer than when I stopped spending as much. Now, the other part of this is, and this is something that me and my friend had been talking about quite a bit, is we both talked about the fact that, you know, did we feel like what we had spent was worth it. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't. Uh, when it comes to gotcha games, there's always going to be, even if we aren't talking about kind of what we've already outlined here about me being a YouTuber and needing coverage and needing things to cover, you know, even when we talk outside of that, when we talk about spending on gotcha games in general, we all know it's a trap, right? Gotcha games in general are a bit of a gamble, right? I mean, it's one of those things where you're not guaranteed anything 90% of the time when you're pulling on something, you're not really guaranteed anything even if you're spending money. And so what you end up doing is you basically spend money with the promise of the idea that you might have a chance at something that you want, which is nice and all, but at the same time, it still is gambling. And that's something that I think a lot of people need to realize, and I think a lot of people do realize. I don't think that that's necessarily some dirty little secret by any stretch of the imagination. But I think that it's one of those things for me, it's not like I have some, you know, gambling addiction or anything like that. You know, before this channel was a thing, I didn't really do that much of anything like that. Like I said, for me, a big, the biggest part of it was just trying to keep up with content. But in 2022, I am not going to be doing that. And uh, like I said, the big reason why is I would rather be putting that money towards something else. I'd rather be, you know, paying off my PC or my equipment or whatever the case may be, because believe it or not, everything costs money. So it's one of those things where I kind of feel like I would re prefer at this point to segue that into that. But also the other thing is, is I really don't think that right now, like for instance, you guys have seen my Ruby count. You know, I'm getting back up to a decent amount and a decent amount of time. And so for me, too, I don't believe that I really need to spend aggressively on packages. Now, well, the packages that I used to get besides the subscription packages that we talked about were really going to be around banners with those different packages that we're going to have. Like I just shown you guys, the one that I had purchased for this latest banner, the ones that were going to have the max amount of the tokens for your summons. But those add up, especially when you have a new banner every couple of weeks. So even though I didn't get one for every single banner, it was a situation where I did at least half of the time have to end up picking one up in order to keep up. However, nowadays I've kind of gotten to a point I'm pretty zen about where I'm at in the game. I don't really feel like there's anything that I really need to accomplish anymore. 
And I'm kind of at a point where I would rather just be patient and be happy taking a look at content from a outsider's perspective sometimes if I need to. If that means that I have to skip it, then that is what it is. I'm really not all that concerned about it anymore. I've thought about actually, and somebody had asked me if I would do this, and I'm still on the fence as to whether or not I might do it. I might end up doing it on a live stream or something like that, and we can all kind of uh, build the account together. But somebody had suggested that I build an alt account, and I've never had a Smurf account. That's not something I've ever had. Um, so that would be something that would be kind of cool. You know, that would give me kind of two chances at some of the content when it comes to some of these new characters. So if I didn't feel like pulling on my main account, I could go ahead and maybe pull on the free to play account or so on and so forth. So that's something that I am considering. It's not like I haven't necessarily or I have necessarily ruled that out, but that is something I'm still considering. But at the same time, you know, I think that for me, a large part of it is too, as a Moo Moo player decides whether or not it's going to work. Okay, cool. Um, a large part of it is for me, though, that I don't necessarily know that I want to do that just based solely upon the fact like there are going to be benefits if I do. I would really like to bring you guys some kind of from the ground up strategies on how I would build an account to start. I think that that would be a fun topic to explore and to get into. However, at the same time, going back to wanting to create content on other things, some of which you might actually be seeing today even, I would prefer, I think, at this point to be able to try other content, do other content, and dabble in other things and explore other things I'm interested in with you guys outside of the King of Fighters All-Star. And this is another topic that I've talked about with several of my friends that play this game, but believe it or not, this game isn't going to be around forever. You know, eventually it will die. I'm not saying that obviously we know this year that we're we're good, but you know, you never know what's going to happen in two years or whatever the case may be. So for me, I don't know. I would prefer at this point just to not be a whale. I don't feel like it's really necessarily conducive to my mental health, nor is it conducive to my financial health to do so. If I still receive, and I, I appreciate any donations I ever get, whenever you guys donate, again, whatever avenue that you choose to do so, if you let me know that you are donating for a specific reason, like you want to donate X amount of money towards me pulling on a certain thing, then I'll always put it towards that. And you guys know that. I'm not going to, you know, just pocket it or, you know, put it towards you know, going out and eating or something like that. But at the same time, if you point out to me that you're donating something for a banner or whatever the case may be, you want me to pull on it, by all means, I'll do that. I'm not going to completely, you know, just shut off the idea of pulling on banners. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that for me, I'm not going to be spending my money anymore on that, at least for the short term. I'll still pick up subscription packages. I might pick up a package here and there if it's somebody that I'm super hyped for. But being that I've gotten most of my favorite characters right now in this game, and I have amazing versions of them, I don't really necessarily know how many more characters they could roll out outside of SS Rock and SS Terry that I would necessarily be all that interested in. And given the fact that they might be around the corner, I just feel like that it's a natural time for me to kind of step away from being a whale. And at this point, it's been since, like I said, really, if you think about it, since the Guilty Gear collaboration that I've been playing the game this way, and I really haven't missed it in any way, shape, or form. In fact, I would say that I've been kind of enjoying things a lot more, and that's something that I really cling to and I really put a lot of value on. So at the end of the day for me, I think that overall, while I'm not saying, and I definitely agree with people out there that want to spend money on the game, if that is their prerogative, that's their money, I'm never going to tell you how to spend your money. I've said that a million times on this channel. But for me personally, I know how I need to spend mine and how I would prefer to spend mine. And I would prefer not to have to spend it each and every couple of weeks on a new banner, especially considering the fact that half of the time these banners, you spend money on a character, and then eventually, not even a month later, that character is half as useful, or there's a character that's twice as useful, rather, I guess I should say, because that character is still going to be just as useful regardless, but that character is no longer going to be as strong in the tier lists or in the meta as it was before this last banner comes out, or whatever the case may be. You guys know what I'm saying. It just It's one of those things where because of the power creep, because things tend to be so ridiculous 
with the way that Netmarble likes to roll this stuff out. Personally, for me, I'm really not into that <laughs> as a business model. I think that Netmarble has really gotten away from... I don't even want to say... I don't even think that this game is veteran-friendly anymore. I want to say that this game is kind of getting to a point where they're trying to be with these banner releases. They're trying to be more inviting to new players because they're basically trying to go, okay, well, this banner, you could get potentially both these characters and do anything you want. Whereas us veterans are going, well, we can already do that. So I think it's just a weird spot. You know, I think that there's definitely a lot of reasons that one would make this type of decision. But for me, those are the main ones. I just don't believe that it is really worth it. And at this point, if you look, you know, I've got my king, I got nameless, I've got dizzy, I've got characters that I never thought I would ever have in this game. I have amazing versions of these characters that I've been waiting for since the beginning. And so in general, I'm pretty happy with where the game is at with characters, or at least for my roster. And so I'm not really feeling pressed to do so. And again, I don't really hold it against anybody who spends money at all. It's not what I'm saying. This is not some form of PSA telling you guys not to spend. But for me, it's just one of those things where I would prefer at this point to kind of consider myself a dolphin, spend sparingly, pick and choose my battles, and stop being as aggressive. And all I can say in that regard is I've been a lot happier ever since doing so. So anyway, you guys, that's going to be today's video. I just wanted to go ahead and talk about that and kind of get that off my chest because that's something that I've been thinking about for a while. You know, like I said, I'm still going to be getting things here and there if I need to. But really, it's more about picking and choosing my battles, like I've said, more than anything. So let me guys, let me know you guys' opinions in the comments section down below. I know that this is always an interesting topic. You know, this is something that a lot of people out there have differing opinions on. Like I said, I don't care if you're a dolphin, a whale, a minnow, whatever you consider yourself. It doesn't matter to me. Heck, I've even known friends that are leviathans in games. And it's just one of those things where everybody's different. Everybody can afford different things. But everybody has different priorities. And those are just mine. So anyway, you guys, that's going to be today's video let me know in the comment section down below your opinions on this type of stuff i will see you guys in tomorrow's video like share and subscribe on your way out until the next time you all take care peace Continue.